You met with some Penn State players at the residence recently. That's right. Why? Um, some of the players, um, actually one of them works for me uh, in the lottery. Uh, he, he's executive director uh, of it, Todd Ricci. They had indicated that they would like to know more about the lawsuit and more about what happened there. Um, and he got the group together, and we discussed it in full with them. And um, as, as Todd said, you know, it's among that group, and it's staying among that group. Not, I'm not even talking about yeah. what was said, though, but why? Why, why did you do that? Are you, uh, is, it a, is it a reaching out to the Penn State community? We know Penn State represents a big block of voters, the alumni, well, in it, Pennsylvania. Well, it, it, it is a, an effort on my part when people ask me this, if I can tell people in a group setting, this is the reason for the lawsuit. Um, I think once they hear my reasonings for the lawsuit, and I think we've gone over it here, that the mm-hmm. you know, NCAA uh, didn't even follow their own rules. And you know, it seems to me they're accusing Penn State of, follow- of not following guidelines. There are no rules under which that they were ever charged. You know, How does the NCAA do that? How do they uh, eradicate the wins? And, uh, for instance, you yeah. know, you know, Adam Talaferro was injured on the field, paralyzed for a while. How do they tell him he right. didn't play? Um, uh, and how do you take sixty million dollars and spread it around the country? Um, and a lot of that's going to be, you know, Pennsylvania money. Uh, my opinion, I agree with Jay Corman. That money should stay in Pennsylvania for Pennsylvania needs. Uh, and when we win our lawsuit, I'm going to be very positive about this. I've already told the board of trustees that I believe that they need to keep that commitment, but it should go to Pennsylvania uh, agencies. 